Hey guys, Alex Augert from Bra Productions here, and I have a cool tutorial for you. We will be going over how to use VideoCopilot.net's products in Sony Vegas. Now, if you don't know what VideoCopilot.net is, go check it out. It's an awesome post production website. I have a link in the sidebar. They have a lot of cool stuff, mainly After Effects tutorials uh, hosted by this guy named Andrew Kramer, and he basically is awesome at life. Um, I look up to him as a visual effects artist, filmmaker, whatever you want to call it. He is just simply the man. Go check it out. Buy some of his stuff. He's really good. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. Now, I'm going to be going over um, two products today. Um, their product Evolution and their product Riot Gear. Both similar um, types of footage. Now, let's get started. Here I have Evolution and what comes on the DVD already preloaded on my hard drive. Now, I have just, you know, footage that I would use. So we're just going to pick something in the Evolution collection. We'll go to Arrows. Uh, I don't know, Arrow 1. Let's be original. It is just a simple arrow that, uh, that grows. That can have a really cool effect on intros, special effects, whatever you're using it for. But, you know, there's this nasty black box that we don't want. So, we could go into transfer, or the transfer mode of the video layer you're using, and click Add. This looks like it solves our problem, but it's rather hard to color correct it since it's transferring the, the color of the footage. So we're going to switch this back, and uh, we can just go ahead and put this on Source Alpha, right there. And it'll look like, to me, it kind of looks like a CC. Anyway... We're back to what the default setting is. Now we can go to the video effects tab and I'm pretty sure this is only on Vegas Pro. If not, go ahead and just set it to add and work with that. But I'm not sure. I should definitely, you know, look into more of this kind of stuff before I start. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to go to the video effects tab and we are going to go to the Chroma Keyer which is basically what you use for like your green screen, blue screens, all that junk. Anyway, add any of these presets on there, it doesn't really matter. And then we're just going to move these three um, color layers all the way down to black, since that's what we want to take out. And as you can see, the black is gone. Kabamo, not there. So that's good. So we're going to exit out of that, and now we have a nice keyed arrow. Is that, is that a hobo? Kind of choppy, it's raw HD footage, but you know, you gotta live with what you got. And yes, that was a hobo, um, in case anyone was wondering. Yeah. So, this is looking good, but say you don't want it as white. Um, easy fix, we can go back to the video effects tab and go to color corrector. Add any of these you want, um, we can just change the settings from there. So we'll drag it. And then we will change the mid to uh, whichever color you want. Now, if you clicked on a preset, one of these is going to be changed. Whichever one isn't in the center, go ahead and double click it just so we get some default values. Now, all you want to work with is high because it's all just white, plain white, and that's what, you know, high is. So we're going to drag it to whatever color we want. And you can change the saturation, uh, the gamma grain offset, whatever you, whatever you feel like doing to make it the right way <clears throat> excuse me, that you want. So, there you go. How to use Evolution in Sony Vegas. Now, let's move to Riot Gear. Here I am in Riot Gear, and I have you know all this stuff straight off the DVD. Once again, it's copied to my hard drive, which is a very good idea. Anyway, we'll go to uh, Ink Drops, which is the, should be the same for all the different footage. Uh, we'll pick one, 17. Why not? Um, anyone like 17? That's my lucky number, um, if anyone wanted to know. So that's probably why I chose it. But that's not the point. The point is that we're going to go to the Transfer Mode and click Add, which should be at the top. Now that gives us a good effect with the Ink Drop. And in case you want to change the color, we do the same thing as we would with the evolution footage. We'd go back to the video effects tab, go to color corrector, add whichever preset you want, and change it from there. Um, I recommend 
I recommend double clicking these, making them back to default values, um, just so you don't get this look. Um, and then I would only change the mid colors, um, so because the low will affect the entire video since it is under a transfer mode. So we'll double click that, bring it back to default, and change the mid. You can also change the high as well, where these high specular highlights are when using just the mid. Hope that all just made sense. Um, in essence, use mid, maybe high. You know, gotta gotta work with it. <laughs> so, um, but for their main products, um, Action Action Essentials One and Two. I already have a tutorial on how to use them called Explosion FX in Sony Vegas. I will have a link in the sidebar as well. Um, check that out if you want to learn how to put those in Sony Vegas. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, make sure to go check out the website if you haven't already. It's a great website. Their form's awesome. Blog is my is I check it almost every day. In other news, I'm getting a new microphone. So my tutorials will sound awesome, and you can listen to my soothing voice in in clear, clear, deep, um, soothing awesomeness from a sweet microphone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in case anyone wanted to know, I did order the MXL 990. Um, it looked like a great microphone, it sounds great, tested it, I love the thing. Had to get one of my own. Anyway, our new product is out, Sony Vegas uh, Tutorials and Essentials. Go check that out. It's great. Got It has many advanced tutorials on it, along with a whole bunch of textures that you can use as backgrounds, or whichever you need them for, along with some bonus sound effects. It's a great product. Go check it out on broadproductions.net. Link in the sidebar. All right, well, that just about wraps up the tutorial. hope it helped, and... Uh, oh... Hello, this is your captain speaking, and I just turned off the no seatbelt signs. So feel free to roam around the cabin, uh, make yourself at home, um, and don't trash the place, please. I uh, spent an hour cleaning up last time. Um, okay, well that was kind of weird. But anyway, doesn't that text message sound sound like uh, the beep beep when you're on an airliner and they turn off the seatbelt sign, or no smoking sign, whichever. Uh, maybe it's just me. Anyway... Um, keep making awesome stuff in Sony Vegas. I'd love to see your work. Post it as a video response. And if you need any help, feel free to message me um, on my website. Strictly on website only. No YouTube messages. So, um, yeah. Have a great day. Bye.